everyone knows what we call Choma, also what we call Jima, turning the stance. So you're all familiar, everyone here familiar with that? There's no complete beginners here, right? You do complete beginner? Okay, so you're going to help them quite a bit, right? But, okay, since, since we have uh, one, one guy who's very new, we should just understand that in Wing Chun, we create power by turning. What are the ways that we create power? And we create a kind of power. They call it changing your punch or your, your movement more powerful. And that's called Jing Gang. Now, normally, that's usually enough power for what you need in Wing Chun when we do what we call sticky hands, Chi Sao, or when we do um, certain kinds of motions, normally turning is enough power to do what you need. And 90% of the time, for example, for example, if I if I want if this is a game we play called Chi Sao. So normally speaking, if I wanted to do this to Mario, see how I can't reach him? It's short, but if I turn, I can reach him. It makes my movement longer, but it also makes it stronger. Because if I do it without turning, it goes like that. And that's how much power is just from my arm. But if I turn, I can create much more power because I'm, I'm putting my body behind my head. So normally that's, that's enough. But sometimes there's certain reasons why it's not enough. And then you have to add what we call the CY the Loi Si Mai or Moi Si Mai footwork. For example, in the same situation, let's say Mario was super strong right here, super strong. So I want to do Cho Ma Tan Da. Oops, <coughs> I can't do it. So I look like this now. That doesn't happen very much, but it can. So if you have somebody who's too strong, even if he's like really big, and, and it makes your movement like a little bit like this, it's not good. So what we can do, since I can't move the thing, I can move myself. So instead of trying to move the thing, sometimes you can move yourself instead. And that's what Loi Si Mai is. So Loi Si Mai is when you step away from the line and turn in, back into the line. So sometimes you need that. Now sometimes, Moisten my outside facing. Sometimes you need to change the line for other reasons. Sometimes you want to, you want to, you don't want to be in front of your enemy. Maybe you want to be over here. It's easier to fight him when I'm here and he's there. So if I want to achieve that, sometimes let's say we're open, Mario, and instead of continuing to fight here, where Mario can hit me with both hands. Sometimes in Wing Chun, I like to get over here and, and hit my enemy. So now I can hit him, and he's having a harder time hitting me. And so I have to improve what I call my face, the way I look at my opponent. So there's two types of footwork that we use in Wing Chun that are based upon the pivot, the Choma or Jima pivot. But there's a little way to improve it so that not only do you get turning power, but you also improve the way you, you look at your enemy. And that's called Loisi Mai and Loisi Mai. So today we're going to work on those, and then tomorrow I'm going to give you a new footwork that I created that's based upon those two footworks. Okay? Now, let me explain to you the difference between Loisi Mai and Loisi Mai footwork. Now, if we imagine, um, I'll use this. Okay, if we imagine that's the center. Okay, when I'm in trauma position, let's say I'm in trauma sitting horse position. Trauma means sitting horse. We turn all of our positions are called ma horse. Why? Because we look like we're riding a horse. You know, when you ride a horse, you. You, you squeeze the horse with your knees, right, Nina? You, and you, you tell the horse where to go with your legs, more than your hands. So this is called ma, a horse. So when we do this position, we turn called choma, which means sitting horse. Now, 
in loicing my footwork, you have, well, let me back up. When you're in choma position, you have what I call the heavy leg and the light leg. One leg with more weight, one leg with less weight. So when you do loicing my footwork, the light leg steps, you step away from the line and you turn back to the line. So with Loi Sing Y, the light leg steps, you step away from the line and turn back to the line. So always with Loi Sing Y, when you finish, you face the original line. So Loi Sing Y, light leg steps away from the line and you turn to face the line. Light leg steps away from the line and you turn to face the line. Moi Sing Y, outside facing footwork, is opposite. The heavy leg steps away from the line, and you turn away from the line. So Moi Sing Y, the heavy leg steps away from the line, and you turn away from the line. Clear? So Loi Sing Y, light leg steps away from the line, and you turn to face the line. Light leg steps away from the line, turn to face the line. Moi Sing Y, Heavy leg steps away from the line, turn away from the line. Heavy leg steps away from the line, and turn to face the line. So we're going to warm up with that, and then we'll do a couple things that illustrate why we, why we use them. Okay? All right. Ready, everyone? All right, let's start out with the punch. Okay, first, only draw them out. Turn. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now let's go to Loi C Y inside facing. Light leg steps, and then turn back in. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Good. Now let's go Paxao slapping hand. Let's do the yang blocking motions. Paxao slapping hand, the chow out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now let's do loi sing wai, inside facing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now let's do jump out, chop block. Chow them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's do loi sing wai. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's do bong sao. Wing on reflection. Trauma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do Loi Sing Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's do Fook So, bridging hand. Trauma. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Loi sing Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do gum out. Hitting or pressing hand. Choma one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Let's do Loi Sing Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, those are typical examples of Loi Sing Y inside face. Alright, now let's go back to the let's do a different one this time. Let's do Chao Ki with Chao Ma. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine and ten. Now we're going to do Moi Sing Mai, outside facing. So we're going to step away from the line and turn away from the line. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's change it to Chaku. Choma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do the noising line outside facing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's change the punch to loy doy gaku. Inside diagonal punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go to Moi Sing Lai. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go to Pai Chai. Packing elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to Moi Sing Lai. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go to nine one, forearm strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Moisting Y one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you guys see the <laughs> So this is a technique you all know, most of you know. But an illustration of the closed marm. So what's gonna happen is Mario's gonna throw me a one-two. Mario wants to go one, two. That's what Miami wants to do. Jab cross. We don't have to defend against Wing Chun, we defend against any type of fight. So when Mario does the one, go here. When he does the two, I'm going here. So inside face up, it's moisty my moisty my. So what I'm going to do the first time is I'm going to step away and punch him. And I'm going to step away from him. Then when he goes to hit again, I step the light leg. Then I'm going to again outside face. So you see that as you do that, you get more and more behind your opponent. Quick. Oh, you cut your hair. Hmm? You cut your hair. <laughs> so, the first step I'm going to do is step and hook to the body. Loi doi gakin. Doi gakin means diagonal punch. It's like a plateau with a fist on it. Travels diagonal. Zero, 90, 45. Doi gak means diagonal. So <clears throat> doi gak to the body, the step. Now, you see how I have a heavy leg and a light leg? So loi, uh, loi si mai means step with the light leg away from the line and turn back to face the line. So I'm going to go here. Now, moi si mai means step with the heavy leg away from the line and turn away from the line. So I end up behind my enemy. <coughs> as I wish. But I'm behind him very fast. Okay? So let's practice that together. So close, the right shoulder's better to the front. And the moment the second punch comes, step away with the light leg, come back with the second punch. And the third step is with the heavy leg, step the third time. Now you should be behind me. First one, you walk with a rear leg. Test your international average. Yeah, that's not what I'm doing. You will see what I'm doing. First, we step with a rear leg. Then, we step with a lead leg. Then, step again with a rear leg. Yes, and turn. Use inside facing and outside facing 
from a closed relationship, right? We were closed, right? We were closed. And when Mario punched, I boom. And when he punched again, I boom. And then I went behind him. Now this time, we're going to start from an open relationship. So it's the same technique, but just a little different way to begin it to get, achieve the same result. So this time, I'm going to, when, he, when Mario jabs, I'm going to step this way first. So my front foot will step on the outside. Yes. No. Step. Boom. Here. Now, we have a heavy leg and a light leg. The light leg steps away from the line, and I turn to face the line. Now, my heavy leg steps away from the line, and I turn away from the line. So I'm behind my enemy now. Okay? So it's a simple illustration of how to gain facing from an open relationship. So I step with my front foot, one, my front foot, two, and three. Now, the easy way to remember this, if you have trouble remembering the footwork, the easy way to remember is left foot, right, front foot, steps, Left foot, steps. Left foot, steps. Always the same foot, steps. Left, left, left. It's not, you don't have to go left, or right, or left, no. It's all, it's all the same foot. Left, boom, left, boom, left, boom. Okay? Ready? In, in Chisa. What we're going to do this time is we're going to go here and then here. So we're going to go behind, inside facing, outside facing. So number one, from low fox out, the low fox on in becomes time. See what I'm Fook time? Fook time. But when I do that, okay, now I don't go sideways because I, I don't do this. Is I'm too far away? No. So what I want to do is step forwards. And then I don't go sideways. I go around behind it. So from here, one. And then I'm going to go here, two. So actually, you don't even need to check the shoulder, but you can. One, inside face. Two, outside face. If you inside face, you're behind them even more. So you get that habit. <coughs> inside face, outside face, inside face, you're behind them. Just a small step puts you behind them. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Everybody like this? Like what we meant? One roll, two roll, three. Inside face, time down. Outside face, punch. Inside face, punch. If you're cooking and you turn something over, that's fine in Chinese. But this fan sao in Chinese means, in this case, it means trapping hands. Now, <clears throat> trapping is, is something we do in Wing Chun to try to achieve an advantage of being able to hit the opponent when he, and he can't hit us. So the opponent, and I believe you're going to do the French translation, and so trapping is when you get your opponent where you can hit him, but he can't hit you. Now, for example, actually, he's something much bigger than me. When, <laughs> in, in trapping hands, what happens is there's, there's five kinds of hand traps. There's, there's five ways to trap someone's hand. The first kind is called grab and strike. Grab and strike. Now with grab and strike techniques, if you do them correctly, for one moment, <coughs> one snapshot of time, I can hit you, but you can't hit me, with it, unless you change something. Unless you somehow change something. In this moment of time, now if I do a no good trap, if I don't pull him enough, if I only pull him this much, he's not trapped. He can still hit you. But if I pull him correctly, even though he's bigger than me, he can't hit me. The only way he can hit me now, he would have to change something. 
he would have to say, okay, step. Now he can hit me. But for this moment, for this one moment, I know that I can hit him, but he can't hit me. Even though he's bigger than me. Even though his arm is long, he can't reach me. He'll never reach me. Now, if my trap is shitty, all right, no, he's not trapped. That's why in Sudo Tau, we have cell cream. So after you punch, and you open, you close, and you cell cream. Now, in other styles of martial arts, I don't, they, they, maybe they don't think this way. I don't know. But in Wing Chun, we always see Wing Chun, right? Punch, and so, green so, sao kyu. And what do you do in Sudo Tau? Punch, open, and you go sao kyu, punch. Right? So what are they saying? They're saying, look, stupid. They're going, punch, open, close, pull punch. And, and they're saying to you, look, stupid, you don't do this. Punch, open, close. They go, okay, so okay, retracting fist comes all the way to your side. Why? Because if I trap him with a grappling strike and I don't pull to my side, that's not a trap. It, it looks good in a magazine. And if my enemy is trying to help me look good, it looks good. But in reality, it doesn't work. Because if he wanted to hit me, he could. Because this is a shit trap. But if I can pull Sauke all the way to my side, and what do they tell you in, in, in Sauke? What do they tell you in Tsuvan Town? They say, Sauke, you tell your wrist is one finger from your ribs. Right? No. No. Right? They tell you one wrist, one finger from your ribs. Now, if I have my enemy and I pull him, and my wrist is one fist from my ribs, <clears throat> Guess what? Right? If my wrist is one finger from my ribs, guess what? See? It doesn't matter who's big or who's small. What matters is you have to, when you're soaking, you have to pull all the way to your ribs. Because if you don't, your trap won't have the effect you want. Is that clear? So if you're going to trap with soaking, with, with what we call lapso. Lapso means grabbing hand. If you're going to use a lapso grab, you have to pull until you're one finger from your ribs. Because any less, it is not really a true trap. It might work against somebody who's scared of you. It might work against someone who's cooperating with you. It might work in a drill when the other guy's not fighting with you. But if you're going against somebody who doesn't respect you and wants to kick your ass, it won't work unless you pull all the way to your side. And that's why in Sui Tau you must sulk you all the way here. That's you know, one reason, there's more. But it's one reason why sulk comes so close to your ribs like that. Okay? So now, our first fighting technique, we're going to use the first type of trapping hand, which is grab and strike. I'm going to show you four or five grab and strike techniques. And then we'll go to the next type of trapping hands, which will be slap and strike. Then we have hook and strike, press and strike, uh, clamp and strike. But let's start with grab and strike. Now, we're going to start with a very basic one because we have some people here that are new. So my first technique is going to be strictly suited and towel up. When Mario punches me with the jab, I'm going to use strictly suited and towel on Straight out of suit and towel. So I'm going to go here, hands up. Now what do we do in Sudan Tau? We go, um, you know how it goes, jam, tan, ja, view, ja, Sudan Tau, right? So it goes, tan, ja, in Sudan Tau, tan, ja, view, ja, so tan, ja, right? So we're going to go like this, tan, ja. So what I'm going to do, in this case, actually, let me, let me back up, that's going to be the next one. Let me go one more. From here, we're going to just lock the guy's strike. That would be the next one. Let me start with something even more basic. Mario's going to jab, and I'm going to use Wing Sun. Wing Sun, what's up? Wing Sun, what's up? Like that. And Wing Sun wedges the person out 45 degrees. No. Yes. 45. You know, in a V. So after we, we're going to do the Wing Sun, what we're going to do is pull, punch, 
like this. Then this. Okay, so very simple. We're going to go one is woo, two is pull punch. I'm not even going to put footwork right now. I'm not going to use footwork. Footwork would make it better, but we're not. Just to illustrate the track, no footwork. Now, after I pull Mario into this punch, what I'm going to do is pull again and punch him again. No footwork. I know you want to use footwork, but for this technique, I want no footwork because I want to put more. I want to make the hands work hard and do the track. So, number one is pull, two, lock punch, three, pull punch again. See Mario's head? It is not. <laughs> it goes like this. You block and you go boom, and you pull them hard, right? And then it, it's not just this. It goes again, again, two times. So block one, pull one, sorry, pull punch again. And then you can really hit hard, so you get more power. What we call jut game. Jut. Jut means jerk, shock. Yeah. And <clears throat> so in, in Chinese when we say jerk, in, in English when we say jerk, it usually means towards you. But in Chinese it doesn't just mean towards you, it just means shock. So it, it, this is shock too. It, any kind of shock. So you want to use shock power, jack game. So number one, pop it. Two, pull punch. Three, pull them again. Pull two times. Block. Pull. Pull again, two times. Okay? Ready? Grab and strike. First time to try. And the slap does two things, three things. Maybe, maybe three things. Number one, the slap holds the opponent in a position where you can hit him, but he can't hit you. No. No. Yes. So the slap holds the person in a position where you can hit him and he can't hit you. The slap also uh, maintains the trap situation and it can also distract him. You know, like, like um, boom. It's, it's a distraction. You, you go, it, you know, all of us are ancient people so it doesn't distract us. But in, in a street fight, you know, they, the people out there, they, they don't know it. And if you go, do, they, they go, huh? You hit their hand, for a moment it can distract. And it can also distract by pain. It, it's like, ow, oh, that fucking hurts. So there, there's, there's ways to use the slap and strike to distract with pain and also with, with a, a, a trap situation. So now the first one I'm going to show you has two options. Now, <clears throat> well, three options. The first option is, okay, Mario, block it. Block it. Block it, Mario. See, the first one is, it's hard to block, right? It's kind of hard to block. But if he does block it, if he uses no thumb, no thumb, when he blocks, you see how the thumb is not, no, no thumb? If your opponent blocks with no thumb, then your next move, you use cow so you can tell cow so hooking in, cow cow. If no thumb, cow, backwards. So if you, no thumb, cow. If he uses the thumb, pop. No thumb, cow. Thumb, pop. Why? Because if he uses the thumb, cow doesn't work anymore. Huh? Pop works. Okay? So, number one option, no thumb, cow down. Thumb, Pop. No thumb. Cow. Thumb. Pop. See what I mean? Cow sub does not work right now. You'll be trapping yourself and Mario will be hitting you with the other hand. Don't do it. Okay? So, let's go, partner. Mario, this is, this is going to be really super simple. Mario's going to jam. You know what? 
brand new shoes. That's why these things are sharp. I need to. Sorry. Let me just move them. I need your tool. Okay. All right. <laughs> what I did was this. And you can see that it hurt. It hurt if you do it hard, so you've got to go easy. But you're going to go like this. Hock. And then we'll just fall punch. So it's simple. Keep it simple. We're just going to go bam. We're going to hock. Boom. Now the important thing is, when I, when I do pop kick, is I go pop kick, pop kick. I do not kick pop. So the most important thing is don't get hit. Then, now once you, you've done this, you, when you fall, you're going to go like this. <coughs> and when you hit them, you don't want, to, you don't want this. What you do want is, you want to punch him when your foot is about here. Not when your foot touches the ground. When your foot's in the air, and you go, after you go pop kick, you go, and put your foot down like, like, like when you're, okay? Let's go, open it, obviously, all right? Come on. This, that's, that's Chief. Okay. Chief. Oh. All right. Chapter reversal is where we're going to have Yeah. Remember, chapter reversal means using the opponent's grab as if you were grabbing him. So we did a couple of chapter reversals. So we're going to do a couple more simple ones before we move on. So the next chapter reversal I'm going to show you guys is, is Guatza. Guatza is in the beauty form. You guys know the beauty form when you like this, this hand. It's called guatza. Guatza means wiping hand. Exactly, guat means, you know, like when you take a shower and there's a lot of steam and you go like this? That's, that's what guat means. Exactly means on the glass like that. So guatza um, is, in, in the beauty form, it's like a backwards <coughs> tansa. You know, we have, we have a tansa in Sumitao that goes down. And we have a tansa in Chungkyu that goes up. And we have a tan sao and sun tao that goes forward. And guat sao is like tan sao that goes back. So there's like all different forms of, of tan sao. So guat sao can be a chapter reversal, and I'll show you how. Let's say, for example, if I pack sao and Mario does pack and he grabs kind of hard. So, you know, if they grab, you don't have to use your thumb. Because you remember it from yesterday, the thumb. But, you know, sometimes you get a person that grabs really hard, and then you go, and you can't get it, you know? So there's a lot of ways to deal with that. There's many ways to handle that problem. But one of the ways is to use uh, Watsau as a traffic reversal. What it does is it kind of makes it hard for him to hold on. So when he holds you like this, you can, you go. See, and then it's kind of like in the beauty form. When we, when we do this, mm -hmm. beauty form. So simply, we're going to just do a simple version, which is hot like this, and the opponent holds on, and then we're just going to open the hand and go trap and reversal by jump. Okay? Then you're in a great position for continuation. Okay? But let's try Glock's out just as a trap reversal. So close left leads. 